brothers and sisters in Christ. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Brother and sister Christ, I got a desperate, desperate request for prayer. I just received a call that my daughter, that uh, our monthly prayer request that I just started this month, um, I had on there that pray for my daughter, my relationship with my daughter, that somehow I could be a light to her and lead her to Jesus Christ. You know, I just got a call that she went into the hospital, I think it was at Eugene, Roseburg or Eugene, and they had to fly her up to Portland, medevac her up to Portland. And I'm not going to get into all the details of her medical condition, but they said she's on life support. She's unconscious. She's on life support. Something's wrong with her blood. And the procedure that they're doing right now, she's in critical condition. And the procedure that they're doing right now, um, it can cause a heart attack or it can cause a stroke. So they're trying to clean her blood. Something's wrong with her blood. And that's as far as I can go. Um, but just, I really need you to, Brother and Sister Christ, please, please pray for my daughter. Uh, Victoria on the prayer list request um, for Victoria she went in had her surgery on the 14th and she had all her teeth taken she's got five teeth left and she's doing fine uh, she's right here Victoria Victoria come here okay she's not coming over she's, she's starting to lose hearing in one ear but you can hear her feet maybe you can hear her feet walking on the wood but I read that verse because we de I desperately need prayer, brother, sister, Christ. My prayer for my daughter was always that God would give her every opportunity to get saved and that God somehow, somehow could use me. Okay. You know, I have this uh, study that I was going to do. Um, I was thinking of doing it this evening, but then I was going to put it, I put it off for tomorrow. Um, and it says, how are we supposed to react and respond to the lost world? And um, Ministry of Reconciliation was part of that study too, going over the gospel again. So I'm doing this just real quick video. I'm sorry I'm not, I'm just really worried right now and I'm waiting, I'm waiting for a call to find out what's going on. I'm waiting to either get a call to say that she's doing good or to get a bad call. And I just desperately right now, brother, sister, Christ, I'm letting my family know the situation. Um, not just my blood family, but my eternal family, my brothers and sisters in Christ, that I desperately, desperately need prayer. She needs prayer that God will save her physically and give her more opportunities to get saved. And uh, she's 17 years old, my daughter, almost 18. And um, just please, please pray for me, pray for her. And I just want to thank all the brothers and sisters of Christ that have been praying for me, been praying for this ministry, who, through whatever disagreements you might have with some of the teachings I do and the disagreements you have with me, that my whole heart, brothers and sisters of Christ, have always been that I want you to keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. My whole goal in ministry. It started out with something as simple as doing, you know, uh, a Bible by the ocean side, then worship by the ocean side, and then God put it on my heart to, you know, do some preaching, and 
there in these last few months, last six months actually, almost a year, God's really put on my heart to really push to help the brethren keep their eyes on Jesus Christ. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ with the life that you're living. Don't fall to the right. Don't fall to the left. And I've had brothers and sisters of Christ, you know, pray for my mom, pray for this, and it's tough. You know, we've got loved ones that we care about that, that aren't saved. It's tough. So I just, I don't want to ramble too much. I just want to make a quick video, Brother and Sister Christ. Uh, grace and peace from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. My love for you in Christ Jesus our Lord. I desperately, desperately need you to pray for my daughter. And uh, thank you for your prayers for Victoria. She's doing amazing. And like I said, I just got this notification tonight. I've been fighting the doctors, trying to get information. And, you know, the Bible talks about if you live after the flesh, you shall die. Uh, just because you get saved doesn't mean they're still, you're not still going to be facing consequences of mistakes you made in your lost life. And um, So keep me in your prayers, brothers and sisters in Christ, as you are always in my prayer. So. I will see you hopefully in the next few days. We'll get this study knocked out. So I just, just please pray. Pray hard. Um, in Jesus' name, please, in Jesus' name. I'll talk to you guys later.